In this chapter 2, the important things, we will start with the 2.1, which is uh, talking about the graph of the functions. Uh, in general, the graph of the functions, uh, the important things, we have the standard uh, graphs, and the other, uh, they are the graph of the functions. They are the, we will do it, or we say, the uh, quadratic uh, graph of the functions. So, uh, first of all, the important things in this chapter, uh, please try to uh, go to the page uh, 57 and the first example here we have example one and graph by uh, plotting points uh, the purpose of this section or the important things in the exam or in the final exam or in the quiz is the uh, collection of the graph when uh, i mean the collection of the graph i mean the standard uh, graph of the functions for example uh, we have what if y is equal to x you should know about the graph we know it's a straight line like that and you see y is equal to x for the second one if we uh, manipulate with the exponent I mean the increasing the power for example if I have y is equal to x square you know the shape of the graph is like u when we add or when we uh, uh, increase the power, we say y is equal to x to the power 3, you know the shape is like that. And go on. For example, if I have y is equal to x to the power 4, the shape it looks like the y is equal to uh, x to the power uh, 2, but a little bit um, more uh, or a straight stretch to near to the y axis so this is the shape of y x is equal to power 4 now, uh, also if I have y is equal to x to power 5 the shape it look like uh, y is equal to x to power 3 and it's more near to the uh, x uh, sorry y axis so if I say y is equal to or we increase equal to 6 you know the shape and go on so that's the uh, simple one the simple exponents in case like a special case if I have what the number 7 graph number 7 if I have I say x is equal to uh, y equal to 3 you know it's a straight line parallel to the x-axis and we have one, two, three here, and you see it's just a straight line without slope, or the slope is equal to zero, or you can say just uh, y is equal to three. Also, if in case we say graph the uh, function like that, we have also the straight line, uh, you see minus one, so I have x minus one, parallel to the y axis. So this one is x is equal to minus on the graph of x is equal to minus one this is a special case so this is number uh, eight for the number nine the graph of y is equal to square root now we changed for, we, we increased from one two three four and also if in case we have uh, constant functions like that or if we have x is equal to minus one now we will uh, decrease the power if i, I have what x square of uh, the square root of x means that the square root of the, the x to power 2 uh, if you have something like that so the graph is like what the graph is should be like that so this is the graph of y is equal to square root of x how about in case if i have what in case if we have uh, y is equal to number 10 y is equal to uh, cubic root of x how about this graph the graph of this one is equal to or the is like that we can sketch the graph or pl plot the graph like that y is equal to cubic root or uh, third root of x we see we recall cubic root of x this uh, another one how about if i have number 11 y is equal to fourth root of x you know the fourth and the second root like that so the square root and the fourth root like each other so i have something like that how about fifth root of x y is equal to the fifth root of x so the graph it looks like 
the third root or the cubic root so we see is like that and uh, that's the uh, graph of y is equal to fifth root of x now another special case for the graph if in case we have number 13 if y is equal to 1 over x how about this graph the graph is look like that it's like the uh, we recall as a cusp like a moon a half of the moon or in case and um, you know there's a, a vertical asymptotes we recall in Kurdish as a darkanar so you have a vertical asymptote here because zero make uh, our denominator to be zero so that's why we we have a asymptote how about y number 14 y is equal to 1 over x square so the graph it look like that and because you have a square root so the negative part of this one going to uh, over the x-axis so I have something like that now how about number 15 y is equal to absolute value of x I, I think if I have you know the absolute value we also uh, we talk about this one in the chapter 1 we see we have two graph x and minus x so in case you can just do it the shape like that this is for the x and this that part is, is for what for minus x so also the graph of uh, here the important graph here is what is the important things in the uh, 2.2 so college sorry algebra 2.2 so this is the college two point two graph of functions so in this section the important things is what is the two things the first of all standard graphs when I, I mean by the standard graphs uh, the whole graphs in the page number one and in here page number two I mean the um, piecewise graphs which uh, you can find the piecewise graph in the page 59 so piecewise functions so the graph of these piecewise functions is like that so in the 2.2 the our object objectives uh, or objects uh, here is what two types of the graph the standard graphs which they are like uh, these 15 types or more or less a little bit and uh, also the piecewise functions how we do it the piecewise function is what is the collecting or uh, combining two of these types together for example i have what i see we have in the page number two f of x um, we see or or questions like what let's graph the sketch the following graphs or plot the following graphs x where x less than one x square where x greater than for example one you can see we combined two standard graphs x and x square so how we will do it the important things here you should depends or you or focus it should be on the domain of this one or on this values uh, in the right side of the uh, case of functions like that how I have the x-axis and y-axis so the critical point here is what is x is equal to 1 so I have greater or less than so first of all i have of what i will sketch this first part how i say i have an x i'll do it like that now this is the sketch of y is equal to x okay y is equal to x 
but we should delete we should delete or we should just remain x less than 1 so I have here's x is equal to 1 here's 1 and less than 1 means that we just need this part because our condition on the domain here in the piecewise function is what is less than 1 so I'll just remain this one and I will uh, remove the other part how about x greater than or uh, how about uh, the second part the second part I have what I have x square so I know the x square the graph of x square is like that now we see x greater than or equal to 2 1 so we just remain that part so our graph if I need if I want to do it nicely I see our graph is like that it's the part of x square because I have greater than so also equal so we will fill the gaps here and also what also less than or equal to 1 is like 1 is like 1 so this the graph is for y is equal to x square and that part is what y is equal to x that's all now I know uh, you, you didn't get the idea especially for the uh, piecewise function I'm going to the more example on the piecewise function as it mentioned in your um, lecture note in the page in the page uh, example 4 page 59 you can see we have an example here f of x is equal to x square and 2x plus 1 if x less than or equal to 1 x greater than 1 as I told you the important things here is what is the critical point so I have 1 now for the x square I'll do it all the graph I know because the standard because the piecewise function is the com combination between two um, or collecting between two standards graph and also I have what also I have 2x plus 1 you know this is the the graph of x when I say x plus 1 you should go up on the y-axis so I have y is equal to x plus 1 and when I say 2 a little bit we made it to be uh, to be more straight like that so I have 2x plus 1 now this is our shape so our shape is like 1 2 and it's going to here now. so we have two graphs together combine it so how we'll remove how what's uh, our purpose how uh, what's the uh, important graph of that we needed we should we should um, do it like that y is equal to x squared so x less than or equal to 1 it should be remains from here to there why because we say less than 1 here's the less than 1 and greater uh, sorry and equal so you have an equal how about the uh, second graph the second graph is uh, like that like three here's sorry the gap because you have a inequality not equality and you say greater than one. so it remains like that so if I want to I want to remain my graph or I want to sketch my graph nicely I say it's like that one two Three. One, two, three is like that. Okay. So the, the the most difficult part in this lecture is the piecewise graph. How can we sketch it? We can do it like uh, this. What do you want? That's the old uh, graph that 
you should really you need more practice please uh, try to control all the examples especially go to the page uh, page 59 and also for the graph go to the page 62 you can find the collection of the all the examples before the exercise now I'm going to uh, solve the example for you in your exercise because I know you need more uh, example especially when I am uh, teaching you online so I know your uh, ability will or maybe you are busy because you are just watching the movie so please try to uh, solve more exercise so in your exercise 2.2 exercise number 33 we have piecewise function 0 and 1 x less than 2 1 x greater than 2 look we have what we have two functions so first of all when i say y is equal to 0 as i told you here y is equal to a number so y is equal to 3 y is equal to 0 means that over x axis so you have no parallel thing just you have y is equal to x so uh, 0 so here is y is equal to 0 x axis means that y is equal to 0 y axis means that x is equal to 0 now also i have what do not forget about the critical point 1 2 so also we have uh, another y so the y is equal to another y y equal to 1 here's y equal to 1 you know so when we have what x greater than or equal to to 2 so how we combine these functions together we should delete we have x is equal to y is equal to 0 and x less than 2 so it means that we should delete here and we have 1 where x greater than 2 2 equal or greater than 2 2 so we delete here so if i combine together i have 1 2 here's y is equal to 1 when x greater than or equal to 2 2, two and also y equal to 0 when x is less than 2 2 that's why we have a gap here and we fill the gap here because here's we have a equality thank you for watching this mo uh, video hope you uh, get the idea and next we are going to another section